Good evening and thank you for your patience. Number one, we've been able to conclude the meeting. I shouldn't say on time, but, but at least as scheduled. They're telling me I should be a bit taller. That's it. So. Well, thank you for your patience. Uh, number one, we've been able to conclude the discussions. Uh, number two, we have a summary of the meeting. It should be distributed to you anytime now. It is also being uploaded into the ministry's website. I sh won't be going into the details of the meeting. You know full well the background behind it. It is in response to the reports of uh, massive uh, possible tragedy of people being stranded at sea, their lives in danger. Although the numbers, no one has been able to really verify. And even as we speak, there are no clear numbers. Those that are engaged in search and rescue operations, patrol aircraft by all the countries concerned, have not been able to determine the exact numbers. And even those with better technology than us are saying it's very difficult in such a vast expanse of ocean to distinguish even between fishing vessels and vessels that are possibly transporting these people. So with that background, let me say that uh, the atmosphere of the meeting was very constructive. All the invitees came to the meeting as we invited, and uh, the international of these organizations, namely IOM, UNHCR, and UNDOC, were active participants. With the press, I know if we go over old news, it is not news. So let me try to encapsulate what is new and what emerged from these discussions, what we have been agreed, able to agree, or at least uh, proposals and recommendations that have been put forward will be in the summary of the uh, discussion. But let me say that uh, what is new that emerged today is the reconfirmation that the countries in the region namely Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, have started the operations according to what was agreed upon at their meeting in Putrajaya on the 20th of May. Aircraft and vessels from the armed forces are out patrolling the area. What is new is you heard that the United States are in close collaboration with the Malaysian government who had authorized the United States to utilize 
Subang Airport in Malaysia. That is ongoing. You also heard recently that the United States also requested Thailand's uh, cooperation and permission for overflights and basing their aircraft on Thai air bases. What is new is that permission has been granted as of this morning and we informed our United States colleagues accordingly. Next is you have heard of the appeal by the IOM on this particular issue requesting uh, assistance in the tune of 26 million US dollars and in response to that, direct response to that, the United States this morning announced 3 million US dollars for IOM in response to that uh, appeal. Also, Australia has announced today a contribution of 6 million Australian dollars to Myanmar and specifically for the Rakhine state. This morning, Foreign Minister of Australia announced an additional 5 million Australian dollars of humanitarian assistance in Cox Bazar and the Rakhine state. Japan has also expressed positive uh, response to the IOM appeal <coughs> and will consider additional assistance based on the joint statement of the three ASEAN foreign ministers <coughs> on May 20th and the result of this particular meeting uh, today. So those are what I would term new news. And the uh, results has it been distributed? I thought there was. Please go ahead. As soon as possible, then then people can uh, <coughs> ask questions. In the meantime, let me uh, switch to Thai for the benefit of, of the Thai. <coughs> and audience, Krab, Kanbachum, Hong, Patet, Tangta. Basically, on what, 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 uh, we are, we are, uh, where do we go from here? Uh, do we have a decision on the future meetings? And let me point out <coughs> in uh, paragraph 12, it was extensively discussed. There are many forums bilaterals uh, going on. You heard of the visit by Malaysia, uh, Indonesian foreign minister to Myanmar. You heard of the other discussions that are ongoing between the neighbors themselves, Myanmar and Bangladesh. And included in our summary is the possibility of the ASEAN uh, ministerial meeting on transnational crime law. AMMTC, which uh, Malaysia, as chairman of ASEAN, has offered to provide the venue for. So it will be, be, be meeting in uh, Malaysia. Uh, the chair of this AMMTC is uh, Laos. I think consultations are ongoing on when would be appropriate time for the meeting. Also, you will see indicated here is reference to the Bali process the preeminent uh, forum on, on this and is basically part of uh, or how we arrive at the uh, invitees for this particular meeting today. So that is another uh, forum. The ministerial meeting is scheduled to be held in the latter half of this year, 2015. So uh, discussions are ongoing and on where and when it should be held. And naturally, before that ministerial meeting, there will be a senior officials level of preparatory meeting. And that can be brought forward. So these, let me just say, are under consideration, under extensive discussions. But since those meetings have not been uh, agreed upon, no dates, no venue have been set, so it is still vague 
in that sense. Thank you. ขอบคุณมากครับสวัสดีครับขอบคุณครับ